everybody, well we're back at Hazeman Motorcycles and I have a Suzuki GSX-S750. Uh, it's got the Yoshi, I'm putting my glove on the wrong hand, <laughs> it's going to start. Um, it's got the Yoshimura exhaust on it, uh, it sounds very nice. I personally think that this could be a good one because it's a naked which means it's going to be a bit more comfortable. Uh, it's a 750 which puts it in the middle bracket for the power range, about 115 brake horsepower. And for me I think as usability in the UK this could be one of the better ones. Well, one of the best ones. First things, fit. I'm six foot four, as you may well know, and yeah, it's it's small, uh, but it's not uncomfortable. It's you know, I've, I've got plenty of room here. Now I've ridden the GSR 750, and I loved it. it. Had a great engine to it. This, they seem to have done a little bit more work to try and make it seem a bit more premium. Uh, like the swing arm on this is vastly better than the GSR. Feels very short. Like the end of the bike's just here, That's, it's not very far away at all. The seat is very firm, very, very firm, uh, and very narrow actually. I, I mean, they've narrowed it because having a narrower seat with more cut sides means that shorter riders can get their legs more straight over it, which means they're easier to flat foot. Uh, so for someone of my height, not a problem. I would probably prefer to have a wider seat uh, so more of my ass is actually on it rather than just, you know, the crack as it were <laughs> but it's not uncomfortable as yet we'll see how that goes bars do feel slightly narrow I'm sure that's uh, not gonna be a problem for most it's just I have wide shoulders slightly narrow not much just just I'd prefer them if they're maybe an inch further apart each side very smooth though they 2017 Suzuki has really smoothed things out on these bikes you know the throttles nice okay so the boring stuff motorway sick gear 70 mile an hour perfectly happy cruise is lovely smooth enjoyable still got the torque that you need to pull away without having to drop a gear not a big surprise there to be fair obviously being a naked wind protection is a big question for many people um, Again, because six or four, it's a bit difficult for me to answer those things. Top half of me, yeah, I'm feeling the breeze, but not that badly. I mean, no more than I'd expect to feel. Legs do feel a little bit protected, but then again, my legs are long, so as you can see, they actually stick out beyond the edges of the bike. The rear sets feel quite high off the ground, and you feel like you're quite perched on top of this, so it has a nice flickable feel to it, which is good. Sounds good. Comfortable position, straight back or relatively straight, slightly length forward but with a straight back. It feels light, it feels nimble, it feels leery. All of these are very good things for an all-rounder bike. Clutch, really nice and soft, but you can feel it, it's good. And another good thing that I'm really pleased to see is, you know how I've said before on some Suzuki's and, and, and other brands as well to be fair, uh, that when you touch the brakes you have a, a little bit of movement before you actually get any braking. This, it's instant. It's a nice set of brakes. There is a lot of progression in them, there is instant bite and they are definitely, definitely strong. I mean I haven't had to do much more than single finger braking and that's been more than enough. The ride is firm, but comfortable. I mean, I've just been under a big drain cover, and although you did feel it, it wasn't like a, a hard thump, it's, it's been dampened. I'm, I'm really pleased that they've actually done what I, I hope they would do with this bike, which is make it probably the, the unsung star of the middle grounds that people don't shout and scream about, but it's probably the best one. Mirrors, when they're positioned right, work really nice and well. They're far enough out. Not a bad shape, but definitely usable. And for a, a bike which I see people using for both commuting and for fun, mirrors are important. They do make things easier for you. And also, it's easy to check who's behind you if you're looking to have a bit of fun. As you may be aware if you watch my other reviews, 
this road is very very textured and you can really feel it between bikes and I've tried it from different bikes I can feel the texture here so you're getting some feedback of the road the bumps aren't jarring me anywhere but I can get feel back which is great it's nice to know that you can feel what's going on underneath your tires gives you confidence of feeling where the grip levels are not that I'm having to worry about the grip levels obviously because I'm doing 40 miles an hour of all the 2017 Suzuki bikes I've ridden so far this year they really do seem to have got this core engine really good the fueling is good the smoothness is amazing so let's just have a little look at it it looks nice it looks aggressive it doesn't look too gaudy uh, I like it in red I haven't seen the other color schemes the front headlight it's not too offensive you know it's not overly insecty where some of these go a bit far metal tank plastics feel a little bit more solid than the GSR did because the little the GSR could feel a little bit soft soft uh, plasticky these are yeah, they're not bad levers again like with Suzuki with many things the bits that they know you're going to change they make good enough but not completely outstanding I mean they're adjustable in fact I'd like to adjust these out a little bit because I've got big hands nothing looks too cheap the swing arms as I say compared to the GSR it's much nicer looking tail tidy horrible but obviously you're going to get rid of that 41mm inverted forks the rear set's very standard for Suzuki let's say again perfectly suitable but you'd probably change those yourself you know so a set of rear sets set of rentals maybe some different levers tail tidy yeah it, it would look nice as for the uh, dash very simple dash not coloured or anything like that uh, you've got your rev range across here you've got your fuel your gear position indicator which is nice to have uh, traction control levels which are just changed with the mode buttons if I press the right one there you go traction control off one two three I keep it one just because it's not my bike and I'd rather uh, have some protection there time no nicely set out all the information that you need there it says is we're averaging a 49.4 mpg which is pretty damn good it gives you a range yeah, everything you really need to know. Obviously, speed in the middle. Now that all that stuff's out of the way, let's really start to see what the thing's like. It's got really good grunt. It's got usable grunt. That's the best thing. You can actually get through the rev range and use some of that power. It's got a brilliant sense of speed, you know, you can really use a lot of the engine and still not be doing what you would call maybe prison speeds. Which you know is something that can be a problem with the 1000ccs that before they feel like they're really working or really doing anything, before you get that feeling of being a little bit naughty, you're doing stupid speeds. This has got a great, as I say, sense of speed before you're actually going stupidly fast but the one thing that's standing out to me more than anything is the way this thing turns in you just don't really care what speed you're going you just do it it's got brilliant stable stance on the road and really good feeling grip absolutely fills you with confidence it's great this blows the GSR out the water, forget the GSR, well don't forget it, it is a good bike and you can pick them up cheap, but this is a different animal, it's much more advanced, it feels more refined, it feels like they've actually put a good amount of effort into the thing, it's, it's good, it's really good, and it's still got this trick. I got a big smile on my face, a really big smile. <laughs> let's just have a look at these brakes that was literally a gentle pull just a gentle pull 
outstanding, really nice brakes and of course the ABS will look after you and stop you from locking up. And that soundtrack. This is a proper little hooligan machine. Like, you really do get the, that sense of just going out and just being a bit of a hooligan, having a bit of fun and just ripping around the country roads a bit. It's good, it's really, really good. <laughs> I need to get a few pictures. Rear brake. Oh, the yeah, ABS the rear brake's weird. Side stand is, to be fair, quite a cheap looking side stand. I mean, look at it, it's a, it's a pressed tube, but it works. And let's face it, you don't go, oh, I'm not going to buy that bike because I don't like the side stand. I love the cleanness of that, just nothing going on there. It's, it's all very close. God, that sounds good. Oh, come on. The tyres, if anyone's interested, are Battleaxe Hypersports. Never used them before, to my knowledge. But I might have done, I don't know. Uh, but they feel good. But it is a nice warm day today, so, you know, that finds the best in most tyres. Trying to find any bad points. I always like to try and find bad points on a bike that I'm really going on about how much I love, because it seems like I'm not looking for bad things. As I say, I would prefer the bars to be about here. You see, I would, I just a little bit extra. It might just be my shoulder width, but it would just... I'd prefer that. It just, that feels more the way it should be to me. So here it's a little, doesn't have quite the same flickiness. The gearbox is really good. That's another thing about this uh, 2017 Suzuki's. The gearboxes seem to be really good. Very short shifting, very positive. Don't take a lot of effort to get them into the next gear. So you're not gonna find yourself false neutraling or anything like that, hopefully. Got a good click to it. And it's not squidgy at the end of the click. You know, with some, some boxes, it clicks into gear and then you've got this squidginess on the other side of it. This is just click and it's solid at that click. It's good, it makes you know that you've got it in gear. Oh! I think I got a little bit airborne then. Oh! Well, these ridiculous bumps that I've just found, they're savage, but they are being dampened, they're not a jar. So the suspension is definitely, it's sophisticated, more sophisticated than the GSR for sure. I think this, this is a good point. This is kind of like the new GSR as I understand it, but it's not. And I can see why they wanted to separate it from that and call it the GSX S750 because it really isn't anything like it. The one overriding thing, the strongest thing I notice about this, other than how good this engine is, how smooth it is, how good the throttle response is, it's just the way that this thing turns in and the the comfort that you don't mind turning in at speed, it's just, it fills you with confidence. Amazingly, I was going the right way. Wonders will never cease. The seat, it's starting to feel, I'm noticing its firmness. Uh, it's not any worse than any other particular type of bike with this sort of seat on it, so it's not a lot to say, but you know, if, if you're tall enough to not need the, the really narrow seat, then maybe a different seat would be good. But I mean, that, these are really very small details in what is overall a brilliant bike. It's so, it's so usable and leery and fun and just, it's good.
it's something you'd really want to use. So in conclusion, it's everything I thought it would be and more. I thought it would be a brilliant middle ground of most things, good comfort, but the overall experience of this is far better than I was expecting. I'm really, really impressed by it. And if you were after a, a one bike solution, you know, that's the thing, you can have a bike that's good at doing one thing and a bike that's good at doing another thing, but to find a bike that's great somewhere in the middle is difficult. And this feels very much like that. If you're a one bike person, and most of us are, you know, I'm lucky enough that I have a two bike garage, something completely impractical and something completely practical. But if I was to choose a middle ground, yeah, this would be a very good option. You know, the 750 mark is probably about perfect, you know, because it's, it's more than a 600. It's what a lot of people say, oh, you know, 600's not enough. And it's less than a thousand because for some people a thousand's too much, for the roads anyway. Another random thing that I probably wouldn't have thought of other than the fact that today is about 25, 26 degrees is the fact that this doesn't appear to be kicking off too much heat into me. The engine is separated from me enough. You know, some other sports bikes where you're more sitting in them rather than on top of them, you get cooked. But this is good, comfortable. I could see a few saying, you know, oh, for a 750, 115 brake horsepower doesn't seem much. It seems a bit underpowered. But it's got really good middle range grunt and you can really use it. There's no point in having all the power in the world if it's not usable. Well, there we go, GSX S750. One hell of a middle ground of bike and yeah. So if you're looking for a one bike stable for maybe commuting and for fun and for a bit of everything, go and test ride one. Come to here and test ride one. Doesn't hurt, doesn't cost you anything. I think you'll find it's really good. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, I have a playlist of bike reviews that I do because I review lots of different bikes. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.